There have been seven years of mournings over Grenfell with no definitive answers to the question, why did this happen? Today was different. But this is how it all began. A fridge caught fire. The owner called 999, then got out, then turned on his camera. 31 minutes later, flames reached the roof, then unstoppable. Buildings are designed to prevent fires spreading. As these pictures show, this one totally failed. Nick Burton was among the few rescued, guided to safety. I don't actually remember coming out into the light. I don't remember like being handed over. I don't remember when I took my first um, real breath. I know that I thought I was going to die and melt at some stage <coughs> in, the, in the tower. They call that the Grenfell cough, but he lost his wife Pilar after the fire. She was the last of its 72 victims. And this was the final conclusion of the chairman of the seven-year public inquiry. The simple truth is that the deaths that occurred were all avoidable and those who lived in the tower were badly failed over a number of years and in a number of different ways by those who were responsible for ensuring the safety of the building and its occupants. Human life was never a priority and we lost friends, neighbours and loved ones in the most horrific way through greed, corruption, incompetence and negligence. If you're looking for the one person or company that might have been to blame for the deaths of 72 people at Grenfell, you won't find it in this massive seven volume report because this was a failure of the system at all levels across the board. And it started at the top with governments, Labour and Conservative. They were warned, fires involving flammable cladding over 18 years Six died at Lackanall House in South London, but ministers and civil servants didn't change the regulations governing building materials. In 2010, David Cameron and Nick Clegg's government wanted a bonfire of regulations to help businesses. In the run-up to Grenfell, the inquiry says matters of safety were ignored, delayed or disregarded. In 2016, the ageing West London block was refurbished with new cladding to make it look good next to a newly constructed school. But look at the design, sheets of aluminium and plastic shaped into square boxes. A multinational, Arconic, made the sheets. It didn't come up with the design, but it knew the box shape was extremely dangerous, according to the inquiry. It had commissioned tests and found the boxes collected molten plastic. Yet this was deliberately concealed from the construction market, and Arconic must take responsibility for the use of cladding at Grenfell, the report says. A host of contractors were involved in the work itself, including an architect, Studio E, a cladding installer, Harley Facades, and a project manager, Ryden. They were incompetent, the inquiry found, and passed the buck when it came to safety. The Prime Minister visited Grenfell two weeks ago without any publicity, leaving a wreath. Today he said it was imperative there was a swift police investigation, and he went further. So I can tell the House today that this government will write to all companies found by the inquiry to be part of these horrific failings as the first step to stopping them being awarded government contracts. Yeah. And we will, of course, support the Metropolitan Police and the prosecutors as they complete their investigations. No charges are expected until the end of 2026 at the earliest, nearly 10 years after Grenfell. Tom Simons, BBC News.